And vaccine availability, Seoul, continues to be a hot button issue in El Paso. There simply is not enough vaccine to go around. However, city officials tell ABC 7's JC Navarrete they are leading the charge in the state. And JC joins us live now. And JC, what is the city and what are the city and county doing well that has garnered attention from the federal government? Steph, just like we heard from Sal's story, it is not a perfect system, but city and county officials telling me that it's a system that's working and it's the efficiency that this system is presenting when it gets time to putting these vaccines in people's arms from the time they get here to El Paso to the time they book those appointments and the time they get those vaccines going. It's that efficiency that has garnered attention from the state and the federal government. We have communicated this concern to the state that, you know, we have different systems by virtue of their requirement and we will continue to work towards a centralized registration system. Streamlining the registration process is on the mind of city officials. The state recognizes the county and the city as two separate entities, meaning registration is open for both, but they're not combined. Still, through the long lines and frustrations, El Paso is leading the state in vaccines. That's our goal, to try to increase the number of vaccines that we receive. So as both the state and the federal delegation have championed the idea of El Paso being a test bed for mega sites that FEMA is now planning to be a part of in the not too distant future. This, this is great news that we've got the attention of the state federal and federal government so that we can hopefully increase the dosages that we're receiving. El Paso has a 90% vaccination efficiency rate, 26% higher than Travis County and the state capital. Concerns continue over how seniors will register. The county is taking note and setting aside doses for older populations who miss out on the online registration. These are individuals that may not have a computer, may not have the grandsons or the, uh, the, 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 the sons and daughters or the grandchildren that can log them in. And we're going to be working on trying to logistically find a way to get at least 900 of those vaccinated this week. Uh, plus, we again reserved about 1,000 for those that lack computers that want to call in and get, get a, an appointment for the vaccination. Now, Dr. Hector Ocaranza, the city county health authority, had some good guidance also tonight. While many El Pasoans have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine and some others are already fully vaccinated, Dr. Ocaranza preaches to continue to wear your mask as it's going to be the best defense against a possible outbreak of the new strains from South Africa, the UK, and South America. Reporting live near downtown El Paso, JC Navarrete, ABC7.